hi guys good morning today is my first day off in like two whole weeks so i wanted to bring you guys along i have some content that i need to shoot i'm gonna run some errands and then i'm gonna start packing for my disney world trip because i leave for that in like six days and i have no idea what i'm wearing but yeah i'm gonna start off by shooting some content this is the dress that i need to shoot um these pictures should already be up on instagram so i guess i can say i'm working with charming charlie's they sent me a dress and some accessories this is the back of the dress um but yeah i'm gonna put some makeup on and do all of that i think i want to shoot it either i'm gonna do it either in my backyard or there's like a little rooftop not too far from here so yeah let's get ready for the day but yeah, like I was saying, this is my first day off in like two weeks. I had a day off, I think last week, but I ended up going into work because they needed somebody to come in and I almost ended up going in this morning. But I was like, dude, you need a break. And I'm also working like all week again. And no, it would have been too much. <laughs> I'm just gonna run my errands. I actually have a lot I need to get done before this trip. I was considering going to Disney for the day today, um, but yeah, there's a lot of things that I was considering doing today instead of like actually getting things done off my to-do list, but I need to prioritize that a little bit more. A lot of the time when I get home from work, like I'm dead and I will just lay in bed. Um, so I also need to work on that, but you know, not everybody is perfect. And I actually am super tired when I get home from work. I usually work at like five in the morning. So I've already been up since like 4.30 at that point when I get home. It's just not realistic for me to get home and not take a nap. So I've also been really prioritizing going to the gym instead of getting things on my to-do list done. Which is like good, like I'm taking care of myself. But I need to be doing things like applying for big girl jobs and like working on my resume and all that. And I'm just putting it off. I'm kind of in a position right now where I really like what I'm doing like on Instagram and with my job I can take days off pretty much whenever I want so it's kind of not been a huge priority for me to like find another big girl job. I have my whole life to work and to sit in an office all day and do all of that stuff. Why shouldn't I be enjoying life while I can now? Kind of after losing my mom, I had a different outlook on life after as a lot of people would. Um, I lost my mom in 2020 when I was about to turn 20 years old. Um, and while she was sick for about like, I think it was like six years or so that she was sick, we didn't really go on many vacations. She couldn't. Um, she didn't really have the energy to with like chemotherapy and everything. Um, sorry for getting kind of deep, but, um, she didn't really have the energy to so since she passed away i knew she like always wanted to travel and stuff and we just couldn't i think that's why i've been tr prioritizing travel and stuff so much if like what happened to my mom does happen to me i just think ugh, i don't want to cry i want to experience life now like i don't want to wait until then or like until i'm older Hopefully what I said makes sense. <laughs> Ignore the mess in my room, but this is what the dress looks like on. I think this is adorable. I should have worn this on Easter, but I was working on Easter and I wouldn't have a neighbor to wear this to work. But I just think it gives such like Easter and spring vibes. This is so cute. They sent me a couple of accessories. I think they're in my car actually. So I'm going to go look for them and I might wear these shoes. Let me show you. My amazing friend Cassidy got me these shoes. For my birthday they're from love shack fancy and they're like blue and they have pink ribbon and flowers and i just think they're gorgeous but they might be a little too much to go with this dress so i'm gonna see what else i have if not i'm probably just not gonna get my shoes in the picture because i don't have too many cute pairs of shoes
I don't really put heat in my hair. So I just put a little bit of oil. I'm trying to heal my curls. Um, I put a little bit of oil and then I did these little braids like I just showed you guys. But yeah, I think I'm going to go outside and see if I can get these pictures done in my backyard. If not, I'm going to head out. So let's go do that. It is so hot, humid, and disgusting outside, but I'm gonna get these pictures shot. I like how it looks. I have like a white fence on the side of my house. But these are the little earrings that they sent over, and here are some of the bracelets. I didn't put all of them on just because it looked like too much, but yeah, this is the fit, and I think I already know how I want to edit them. Hopefully the vision comes to life. I'm not really sure. I think I got the shot. I'm honestly not sure. My brain forgot how to function because of how freaking hot it is outside. Um, but now I want to run to Ulta. I have to go to my job because I forgot my water bottle and my ear pods there. Hello. And then what else do I have to do? I have to go to Target and get some stuff. Maybe go grocery shopping. But yeah, let's go do all of that. All right, I've literally just changed into like my shorts that I usually wear to the beach and a crop top because it's so hot outside. Um, but I'm going to sit here and try and edit these pictures a little bit. And I really want to upload my Magic Kingdom and Hollywood Studios vlog. So I'm going to go ahead and do that before I head out. That just took so much longer than it was supposed to, but the vlog is now live. So after you guys are done watching this one, you can go check out my Magic Kingdom and Hollywood Studios vlog. Um, and then I finished editing the Charming Charlie's pictures. Hopefully they get approved soon, um, because I really want to post them. They look really cute. And yeah. Let me turn the AC down. I'm not gonna lie, I might have eaten lunch and then sat and watched YouTube for like a good two and a half hours, but now we're gonna be on our way to Target. I have to pick up some E6000 glue for some projects that I'm working on before this upcoming Disney trip, and then I have to pick up some stuff for my dad. And I was gonna go grocery shopping, but I like to go to Aldi, so I just Instacarted um, all of my groceries from Aldi because the traffic to get there is insane usually, and I also didn't feel like going myself that's the real reason um but yeah let's go to target i didn't really vlog in target because my head started hurting literally as soon as i walked in but here it is a little haul i didn't get much <laughs> because i didn't need too much um i got my dad's prescription and then I'm going out of town, so I got a new mascara because mine is dry. And I want to look cute on my trip. Um, I got some E6000 glue, like I mentioned before. And this one has the little, like, tips. So you can get, like, precise little drops of glue. I was running out of Cetaphil, and there was, like, $3 off. So I got the big one. I don't know why. I had seen online that Cetaphil was going up to, like, 20 bucks, But the big bottle literally costs... $10 with the coupon so that was really good and then I don't drink as much water as I should um so once a week I like to drink a Pedialyte um yeah I drink definitely not enough water and I work out like every single day um so this is good and the flavor just kind of helps because sometimes I just want something that doesn't taste like water but I don't want like to drink soda or drink coffee all the time or like Starbucks refreshers so I get one of these um, I definitely have more access to like refreshers and stuff than I need so like at work usually during my lunch I'll drink like a paradise drink um, but yeah now I I was gonna go to Ulta but I ended up just getting the mascara here and I know if I go to Ulta, I'm going to spend at least $100 because I need new Olaplex. And I think I'm getting my makeup done this week. So I was going to get a new foundation, but I already have foundation and I still have some Olaplex. So yeah, let's not go to Ulta. All right. So we just got back home now. 
Um, and I wanted to show you guys my little plan um, for why I got the E6000 glue. So I have this Stony Clover Star Wars backpack and I want to put my name here and I got some really cute pink letters. Let me grab. So I have this Stony Clover backpack and then I have these pink letters from Sprinkles Bag Company on Instagram and Etsy. So I just want to put my name on there. And then I have my Star Wars backpack that's already done, but when I got to California, I was really scared um, because some of them are like coming off a little bit. So I just want to like re-adhere those. And then same thing with this one. This one is just coming off a little bit and I had E6000 glue. I just have no idea where it went. And yeah, most of my Stony collection I've gotten like on sale. I rarely pay full price for Stony. I also get a lot of them for like my birthday and for Christmas and stuff. I guess I'll talk to you guys a little bit about like where I get my Stony Clover for cheaper. So the first place is Bloomingdale's. Um, it's like always on sale at Bloomingdale's for some reason and they have like backpacks and like all the pouches and stuff. That's where I got my lilac pouch. I mean my lilac backpack. Um, and then I just got some on 260 sample sale. Um, I got a mini backpack in their like bubblegum pink color I think is what it's called. And then just like the pink flannel fanny pack I have. I got like a black plaid jumbo one. Um, I'm really excited about that one. I wanted a like jumbo fanny pack for a long time but I didn't want to pay the full price and this one was, was only $45. Um, so if you guys keep a lookout on 260 sample sale I think they do like a stony clover sample sale like once a year. Stony Clover also does, I think it's either Stony Clover Saturday or Stony Clover Sunday, I forgot which one it is, um, but they do one day where everything is on sale. That one's really awesome, and then recently also Stony Clover did, I think it was like 30% off all of their Disney stuff except for like the newest Mickey and Friends collection, and I got an Aurora pouch from that sale. But if you type in their name on Google, it'll show you like everywhere that sells them, um, so you don't have to pay full price because I know it's really expensive. Um, and I know I have like an excessive collection of them, but I love them and I use all of my backpacks and my fanny packs all of the time. So all of my groceries just got delivered. I'm gonna put this all in the fridge now. went to go get boba and pokey with one of my girlfriends it's literally 10 o'clock at night right now um so i'm just gonna close off the vlog here i'm gonna shower and probably go to bed because i have to be up tomorrow to finish whatever little chores and tasks i didn't finish today i'm working late tomorrow so i have all day to do that but thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this little daily daily vlog i'm sorry my life isn't more exciting but i just really wanted to vlog today and try and get more comfortable with the camera so yeah thank you guys and hopefully you guys come back and watch my disney vlog which should be up very shortly after this one